No more change of stations, you came to the right place. Turn off your televisions, they'll just get in the way. It's time to get to the point on 1073. Likes is on the air with locals only. Central Kentucky's rock station is 1073, the point locals only. Sunday night, Imperium Asunder. Did I get that? Yeah. It's close yeah. Enough, yeah. Is close it, enough. It, Imperium Asunder? Is that? Yes. Okay. Yeah, okay. You're good. Okay. I'm good. Okay. <laughs> You've got a new uh, disc out called uh, Hate. Tell us a little bit about the, the band together. How did you guys get together and, and started starting writing some stuff? Well, well, well. Uh, I reformed the band. Uh, it's been around since 1999 in one form or another. Mm-hmm. And uh, I just recently went to reform it again. So I stalked her on Facebook for a few years and then she finally agreed to sing for me. So. Okay. Okay. That's so. exactly how it went. <laughs> and that's exactly how it went. Okay. Uh, so uh, tell us a little bit about uh, how you put stuff together as a band. Uh, I basically just sit down and write songs uh, from beginning to end um, in one setting. Uh, I mix industrial, swing, hip hop, metal, punk, uh, hardcore. Um, into all the music that I write. And then uh, Olivia just comes over and sings her uh, sings her lyrics down. So. Yeah, okay. I mean, I've been singing my whole life, so, I mean, I just kind of try and put my own little twist on things, mm-hmm. the different techniques that I've learned um, with growls and screams and, you know, et cetera, et cetera, mm-hmm. but using just, like, clean vocals as well, but it seems to really fit in rather nicely with Imperial Asunder, so I'm, I have high hopes for us. So who do you look to as a vocalist that you say, wow, this this person, I, I, I want to aspire to be this person? Um, uh, oh, as a vocalist. 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 Um, my, actually, it was kind of funny. Um, I first started singing when I was younger, and my uh, first real like kind of idol was uh, Celine Dion, <laughs> believe it or not. Okay. It was. But um, as I got older and, and got in, more into the rock, um, as a vocalist, it would have to be Lane Staley from Alice in Chains. Okay. So okay. I love that man. Okay. He's a great, great influence. Okay. Well, tell us a little bit about this first song we're going to do tonight, The Aftermath. Um, basically, it was uh, written from a previous vocalist. Uh, it was one, from one of the previous versions of the song. Uh, it's basically just sort of a critical, sort of... Um, just a critique of society, really. Um, mm-hmm. It's just a uh, dance music mixed with a little bit of industrial and punk rock. Okay. Let's check it out. Empyrean Asunder. It is the aftermath. It is uh, locals only. Central Kentucky's rock station, 1073 The Point.
Central Kentucky's Rock Station is 1073, the point, the aftermath. Empyrean Asunder in the studio tonight, as uh, we do all sorts of different types of music on Locals Only Sunday nights. If you are a band, hit us up on our website, 1073thepoint.com. And I'm going to ask Jerry a question because Jerry is the only, uh, well, you're not the only artist I've had in here on a band that Louis put out many years ago. Uh, Coronach. Coronach, yeah. Let's 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 talk about that for a second because uh, I actually the first time I heard it was like two weekends ago. He had like oh, yeah. found a box of those and and brought it out. So tell me a little bit about that. Oh, it's terrible. It was just lo-fi <laughs> black metal. Um, <laughs> for some reason, he put it out. Uh, I'm not really sure how well it sold. I actually quit the band a month after the release. Okay. So I'm not really sure how well the band did after that. I don't think the band did very well. <laughs> yeah, I, I think, think the band right. kind of dissipated right. after that. Yeah. But it's, it's actually it's actually kind of cool. I, I kind of dug it. Musically so. and yeah. emotionally, the music was incredible, but it just recorded terrible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was. I thought it was kind of interesting. I, I like kind of odd stuff like yeah. that. So yeah. Um, so. Uh, but how do they get your band like on like iTunes? Can they get any stuff like that? You got a Facebook page, blah blah blah. Uh, you know, on that we kind have, of stuff. Uh, Facebook, Reverb Nation, MySpace, um, Who uses Amazon. MySpace. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, and you can go and just download the the CD for free at imperiousunder.co.nr. Okay. Okay. Tell us a little bit about. Are you mixing everything yourself? Are you going? Are you using a producer at all? Anything like that? Uh, right now, for these songs, we have four songs that we release. It's just a basement recording. We recorded everything in my house. Uh, we are planning to go to the studio to release the full length, uh, probably October and November. Okay. Okay. Tell us about o- Almost Serenity. Almost Serenity is a song just, it's full of disdain and just sort of disgust with society, as okay. most of our songs are. Yeah. Um, it's a uh, mix between swing and industrial and metal. Okay. Well, let's check it out. Empyrean Asunder. The EP is called Hate. This is called Almost Serenity. It is locals only. Central Kentucky's rock station, 107.3 The Point.
Bring me down. It is the Blue Soul Gypsy, Central Kentucky's Rock Station, 107.3 The Point, locals only, Sunday night. And, of course, a song for the missing coming up. Uh, you guys got some other shows coming up? Yes, too? September the 20th. Uh, up at Highlands Tap Room on Bardstown Road. We'll be playing up there at 9 o'clock till probably 12, 1. Okay. Whenever they make us leave. <laughs> Sometimes right. we try to stay. Sometimes you try to stay. Yeah. I, I wouldn't know why you would Guilty do that. Guilty pleasure. Yeah. Yeah, so good place to play. Good yeah, place to see you. I think so. It's cool. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's just a little bar down there, but Bardstown Road, it's a cool yeah, scene. Yeah, Bardstown you know? Road's a good scene down Everybody there. Everybody walking around. Sometime. Yeah. 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 Nice, well, nice things to look at on Bardstown Road. Fall time. Yeah. Almost yeah. fall time. Almost fall time. Yeah. Yeah. Close. Yeah. Yeah. Of course, Song for the Missing coming up, and that is a benefit for the uh, rescue dogs and uh, the rescue search teams out, and they'll have some demonstrations with the dogs out there. Yeah, it's going to be nice. Yeah. <laughs> you stole my cookie monster. What's up with that? <laughs> yeah, I and, love him. Yes, yes, but he's the skinny cookie monster. See, that's skinny. what they did to the cookie monster. I don't like that very it's messed much. Messed up, dude. It is messed up. Justin Ooh. said he was a celery monster. Yeah. But Samantha said, yeah. I find it hard to believe that he anyone it's gobbles. All, uh, cookies is only a sometimes food on Sesame Street. That's what I've learned now. Yeah. It's that's only a sometimes food and. I don't know, you know. I don't know if he's 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 showing the right body image for everybody at it's this good. point. Kids are getting fat. Yeah, know, so you know, <laughs> you need it for. But but do you what? need do you need a do you need a fat head? I I'll, mean, is that is that is it correct? We want to apologize portion? when Jeff wears Roger Riggs shirts. He blurts out things he doesn't mean. Yeah, but that's okay. Celery's good for you though. Jacob and Samantha. Um, I eat a lot of celery. I live with our manager. Yeah, Jacob and yeah, Samantha. They, and they, li- they leave their celery and water inside the refrigerator. Oh, I bet that stays good forever. And then plus. Oh, I bet it just put, tastes like crap. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Here's a little secret. What do we put it in? Cream cheese. Cream cheese. To die for. Cream to cheese. Okay. For. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Very average. <laughs> they eat artichokes, too, which is weird to me. Oh, I like artichokes. Oh, with the butter well, sauce? Well, then you're weird with to me. With the butter sauce. With the huh? butter sauce. Mama Rock fixes that up for us, and it is awesome. We love you, Mama Rock. We love you, Mama Rock. Big shout out to John and Tammy. They take care of us all the time. I'm not the wrong with some artichokes. I like some artichokes on pizza. That's good stuff. <laughs> are they? I don't know about you, X. <laughs> artichoke? Maybe I'm thinking of a different thing. Is the artichoke alive? Like, I mean... <laughs> no, it's, what? Like, it's like, like onion-looking thing. It's yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, you no. said I like yeah, it on... Yeah, yeah. I was picturing it's sardines. Like an, anchovies. Yeah. No, I like anchovies. Anchovies, anchovies, anchovies which they're going to... But then I started I like thinking too, avocado, but... and I was like, well, what's that? Is that the thing that we peel apart? But no, that's not. Avocados are dead, too. What? Yeah, they're no, dead. They were all alive. So are sardines when you're eating them. Just because it's yeah. a plant. I know that, but I'm saying were they alive at some time? <laughs> yeah, everything's alive. All Plants right. live. We've obviously lived. Yes. <laughs> you don't know a lot about food. No, I mean, I was thinking. I was like, what is it like we're eating the... right here? You know, was it avocado? Was it artichoke? I don't know. Song for the Missing. That is coming up again Saturday. <laughs> we yes. Can, you can Back check you out topic. there. You'll be playing there about 530. <laughs> As we talk about mystery, that's kind of what we're we've evolved into tonight. I think yeah. is a mystery. Yeah, this whole interview is a mystery. <laughs> it's been fun though. Yeah. <clears throat> so uh, tell us a little bit about mystery. Um, it's a song that we wrote uh, a couple weeks back, and uh, it's um kind of about like being in the high part of life, mm-hmm. and then being in the low part of life and then being somewhere somewhere right in the middle part of life so it's about energy shakes what yeah. <laughs> somewhere like that just like somebody just you know that spirals out of control and then they find themselves and then they're kind of just trying to relate i think to everybody else that feels that way so it's it explains itself but it's talking about more about how life there's so much more to it than what we think there is, you know. It's more than just this big mystery of like, oh, what is this? Oh, what is this place? We're walking around. It's like, no, this place is beautiful, and there's a lot of things that are really going on here that we're not even that we're not even aware of, you know. There's more things about life than we don't know than we do know. I, I think you can get you can get sucked up in your existence of you know your corner of the world and, yeah. and looking at the computer screens and things like that. That, that you don't realize the the bigger picture or just to go outside and look at a cloud. You yeah, know? and like what's going on around you? You know, people, they're not thinking about that anymore, I don't guess. Yeah. 
there's a lot of distractions. So I, I think that sometimes you need to slow down and, and think about things before you just kind of react to them. I don't know if necessarily is that's the case anymore. So. People think we're just here and then we just and then we just die. And yeah, that's true. That's what's going to happen. But I don't think we're really conceiving it that way in the day to day. Like you may stop at some instances in your life and be like, OK, yeah, this is what life is, what it's all about. But you got to carry that into your every day. This is not a dress rehearsal. This is one time, and that's it. Yep. And we're all aware of that, so I guess we got to act like it sometimes. Yeah. Not that we've exhibited any of that. <laughs> Not tonight, at least. Uh, <laughs> mystery, let's check it out. Thank you guys for coming in. Thanks, Blue Soul Zach. Gypsies, uh, Friday night, Bardstown Road. And then Saturday night at uh, Song for the Missing at uh, 530 on the bandstand. Let's check it out. 107.3 The Point.